Hey guys, I just installed an awesome custom ROM on my phone called Evolution X and let me tell you, it's a game changer. Check this out, it's running on Android 14, comes with zero bloatware and it's buttery smooth. What makes it even cooler is that you can install this custom ROM on almost any Android device using something called a GSI. And the best part? You don't even need to root your phone or use TWRP recovery to get it working. So, Evolution X is one of the best custom ROMs out there. It's not just about performance though, this ROM is packed with useful features. From custom themes to gesture controls and UI tweaks, it gives you a level of personalization that even the stock Pixel ROM can't offer. Everything is working perfectly on my phone, even the 5G network is running without any issues. Evolution X also comes with essential Google apps pre-installed, but it avoids all that unnecessary stuff that slows your phone down. This means you get all the important functions without sacrificing speed or storage. Now, when it comes to storage, this is where custom ROMs like Evolution X really shine. They take up much less space compared to the stock ROM that comes with your device. For example, on my phone, the system is using only about 16 gigabytes and the apps are taking just 381 megabytes. That's insanely low. And because there's less bloat, your phone runs faster and feels more responsive overall. Now let's quickly check if your phone supports GSI before we jump into the full installation. It's super easy. Just head to the link in the description, download the Treble Info app, install it on your phone and then open it. Once you're in, tap on View Details to see the compatibility info. At the top of the app, you'll see the Project Treble status. If it says Supported, your phone can run GSI ROM like Evolution X. If it says Not Supported, your device isn't compatible with GSI, so you can't install a custom ROM this way. If supported, tap on Browse Images to open the GitHub repository. You'll see custom ROMs based on Android 14, 15 and 16 like Lineage OS, AOSP and more. But in this video, we're focusing on Evolution X. Now let's download the Evolution X GSI ROM for Android 14. The download has started and while we wait, let me quickly show you the device I'm using for this video. So this is the CMF by Nothing and it's currently running on Nothing OS 2.4. Now to get started with the setup, you'll need to enable developer options on your device. Just look for the build number, tap on it 7 times until you see the message that says you are now a developer. Once developer options is enabled, go back to the settings menu, scroll down to system and tap on developer options. Now let's make sure your bootloader is unlocked because that's the only major prerequisite for this method to work. If your bootloader isn't unlocked, no worries. I've made detailed videos for most devices. All the links are in the description. Once unlocked, come back and enable USB debugging. This is essential for flashing the GSI ROM via ADB. Alright, our custom ROM is now downloaded, so it's time to move forward. Let's connect the device to the PC using a USB cable and switch over to the PC screen. On the PC, first download and extract Google's platform tools. It includes ADB and Fastboot, which are essential for flashing the GSI ROM. Before flashing, download your device's stock firmware as a safety backup. If anything goes wrong or you don't like the ROM, you can easily restore it. Once that's done, copy the Evolution X ROM from your phone to the PC. Let me quickly do that. Once copied, open the Platform Tools folder, which contains the ADB and Fastboot executable files. To open the command prompt here, click the address bar, type CMD and hit enter. The command prompt opens in the folder. Now let's check the connection. In the command prompt, type A DB devices and press enter. Once you hit enter, you'll see a prompt on your phone asking to allow USB debugging. Just tap allow to grant access. Run the ADB devices command again. And yes, this time we got the serial number, which means the device is connected. Type A DB reboot bootloader and hit enter. Your phone will reboot into fast boot mode in about 10 to 15 seconds. Our device is now in fast boot mode. 
Type fastboot devices to confirm the connection. If you see your device ID, you're all set. Next, type the command fastboot reboot fastboot. This will reboot your device into fastboot D mode, which is required for flashing the GSI. And yes, the device is now in fastboot mode. First, we need to erase the system partition. So go ahead and type fastboot erase system. This clears the existing system and gets the phone ready for the new ROM. Perfect, let's continue. After erasing the system, it's time to flash the Evolution X ROM. Type fastboot flash system and path of the ROM file. Simply drag and drop the Evolution file in the terminal and hit enter. Now, on some devices, you might see an error saying the system partition is too small. If that happens, run this command to delete the product partition and free up space. Fastboot delete logical partition product underscore A, then run the fastboot flash command again. Alright, ROM is now flashing, it might take a few minutes to install, so let me fast forward this part. Once it's done, type the following command, fastboot space dash W. This will wipe user data and clear data from other important partitions like system and user data, giving your ROM a clean start. Now type fastboot reboot bootloader. This reboots your phone into normal fastboot mode, which is needed to flash VB meta, as VB meter flashing won't work in fastboot D mode. VB meter might already be included in your GSI. If not, download the stock firmware and get the VB meter image file. Once you have it, run this command to flash it. After flashing VB meta, type fastboot reboot to boot into Evolution X. Your device will now boot into the Evolution X custom ROM. The first boot might take a couple of minutes, but that's normal. Let me fast forward this part. Once it boots up, you'll be welcomed by the clean and smooth Evolution X interface, running on Android 14. No bloatware, smooth performance and tons of customization waiting for you. And that's it. You've successfully installed Evolution X custom ROM on your device without root and without TWRP. If you found this video helpful, give it a big thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. If you're facing any issues, drop a comment below. I'll do my best to help you out. Thanks for watching. This is Jarvis signing off.